Hello everyone, Adrian here. Today I'm going to show you how I make my pizza at home. It's a vegan pizza. I use products that are available um, mostly from Whole Foods, but um, there are certainly products available at other stores that I've used and I can come up with something very much like this. So obviously the most unusual thing is the vegan cheese, but that's actually readily available in a lot of places now. And um, let me show you some of the other things that I use. First, we want to start off with the crust. So this particular one is a whole wheat crust. It comes from Whole Foods. Um, I've purchased other crusts that I like very much from other outlets. Um, you do have to watch carefully when you're looking at crusts. A lot of the common crusts, like um, the Boboli, for example, that you see in a lot of grocery stores, um, those are not vegan. They contain um, a small amount of dairy for some reason. I'm not even sure why it's necessary in there because, you know, the ones without are, are great. But just, you do have to take a look at the ingredient list. So, um, next, the sauce. And again, this is um, the store brand of... Uh, Whole Foods, which I use. I like this sauce. Um, I've also used uh, Classico pizza sauce. Which I also use um, pesto. And again, you need to look at all of these to make sure that this specific product is vegan. Um, pesto sometimes contains uh, Parmesan cheese, and um, so you need to watch for that. Um, this, the brand that I use is called Amore, and it comes in a tube. Next, um, I've actually talked to you already about Deya mozzarella style shreds. Um, and this is a product that I use on my pizzas, and I have for a while. I'm pretty happy with the way that those turn out. I also mix it with this, which is called um, Follow Your Heart. It's a Parmesan style, they're um, little shreds. And then, just because I love sliced black olives, I'm going to put some of those on there. And then I use a little bit of uh, olive oil on the crust. So, a lot of my cooking, I do use um, whole foods. I start with whole foods and make them um, from scratch, so to speak. This is not one of those recipes. As you can see, I'm making a lot of things that are already, uh, to some extent, prepared for me. Um, but that just makes life a little bit easier. I have my oven preheating. Um, in this case, the instructions on the package for the crust says 400 degrees at six to ten minutes. Um, I actually find that with the toppings that I put on it, I usually go a little bit longer. I do it like 11 or 12 minutes. So here's my first step. I put a little bit of olive oil on the crust and then I have a brush and I just spread that around so that there's a thin coating of olive oil on the entire crust. That gives it uh, a nice uh, flavor enhancement and also uh, uh, crispness when you cook it. Next step is that I put on the sauce that I showed you. Now, of course, this is up to you how saucy you like it. Um, I'm putting a, a thin layer throughout the whole thing, getting it right up to the edges. Um, I do l very much like to have the flavor of the sauce, but with it being a, a thin crust, I don't need a ton of that. So. My next step then is to put on my toppings that I want underneath the cheese layer. And in this case, I am adding sliced black olives. 
Now, of course, you this is where your creativity can come in as well. Um, you can put um, a whole bunch of different vegetables on here. Um, obviously, the classics would be onions or mushrooms. You could put um, red bell peppers or yellow bell peppers. You can put sun-dried tomatoes. That gives a nice... Uh, uh, savory zing to it as well. Um, there's all kinds of different things that you can put on here. Um, you can also at this point add um, some of the vegan sort of meat-like products. Um, I've used Upton's um, Italian seitan, which is really delicious. It's got a great flavoring and it's already in crumbles, so it's nice um, to incorporate that here. Um, there are also different like pepperoni products and a bunch of different things that you can add um, if you want that kind of a taste. Our next step then is the cheese. So I am starting with the Deja mozzarella shreds. Having enough on there to cover it, which is, um, I use about a half of the package um, on each pizza when I'm making this size. need to break this up just a little bit, I guess. And just throw that right on top, intersperse it in there. I just happen to really like this combination of cheeses. It makes uh, a, good, a good flavor combination. So now, I'm not suggesting that you eat pizza every day, vegan or not. This is probably healthier than a full dairy, and especially if it contains uh, like processed meat things. Um, you know, it's going to be lower in fat and uh, certainly lower in cholesterol and some of these other things. But you know, I'm not a vegan for health reasons. I'm a vegan. Uh, because I believe in minimizing animal suffering and I'm a vegan because I believe that it's the most environmentally responsible thing to do. Choosing the absolute most healthy uh, choice is not always my first priority. Sometimes I just like to enjoy familiar treats and pizza is one of them and it's something that I can um, recreate pretty well. Um, I enjoy the version of pizza that I make. Well, I needed two hands to cut it, but here we go now in slices. So it is ready to be portioned out. Now I've made this um, at parties and it has gone over quite well actually and um, like I said with all the different options of toppings and different sauces um, you can make this your own. And here it is my version of a vegan pizza that I make at home with products that I get from the grocery store. So I Hope that you enjoy it. Um, give it a try with some of the other options that I mentioned. Different toppings, different sauces. Um, let me know what you like on a vegan pizza. If you like this video, then hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and share this for anyone that you think would enjoy it.